Hey guys, so I am back today with a drugstore foundation, um, kind of, um, not a review because I haven't used it yet, but kind of like, um, my first impressions. I'm watching YouTube, let me pause it. So I just woke up and yesterday I bought, um, this foundation after watching Alex from Learning to Be Fearless. I freaking love her. Um, she recommended the Rolon Color Stay. I got mine for, um normal to dry skin because that's my skin type so i got that she said that it's comparable i think she said to the mac pro long wear and that's what i use but i'm out like it's gone and she also recommended the smooth skin bronzer by nyc and they only had one color at my target so i got this sunny um i haven't used it yet this is what it looks like it comes with a powder puff you can hardly see it but yeah, so I am going to um, apply this. Oh, the light. Come on. Okay. So I'm going to apply this foundation and then I will um, give my opinions after it's done. Um, I will insert, ugh, insert, I will insert a before picture um, and after picture at the end of this video. Um, so yeah, I already have my primer on. It's the Kiehl's Pore Minimizer. So yeah, I'm going to apply it, and then, yeah, so you guys will see. Alright. <laughs> So this is one coat, um, on camera it doesn't look, sorry the lighting is freaky, but on camera it doesn't look like it's the wrong color, but I think off camera it does look a little bit like too red for me, but um, sorry my lighting is so bad, but yeah, so like I said it does look a little bit red on off camera, but on camera it looks good, um, it covers pretty well. I'm going to add another, uh, like a second thin layer, and then um, my concealer and powder, and I will be right back. Okay, I know, look weird to have my concealer on. Obviously, I haven't blended, but like, as you can see, well, you probably can't see, but it's a dried. I haven't powdered or anything, but it's a dried um, to almost like a matte to like a velvet finish, so uh, that's pretty cool. Okay, I'm back. I just did the rest of my face, um, minus the whole bronzer thing. I have, um, just my regular bronzing brush. I'm gonna take a little bit on my brush. I'm gonna tap some off, because I heard this is really pigmented, so I'm not trying to ch take any chances. Um, I want to talk about that foundation. It doesn't smell weird, which is good. It doesn't have much of a scent, besides, you know, the traditional, like, makeup -y scent. Um... It, it is clinging a little bit around my nose and the dry areas, but that could just be, sorry about the freaking lighting, that could just be the formulation, you know, of the foundation. I could have, I should have gotten possibly the oily, no, I shouldn't have gotten the oily skin type because then that would be even drier. So maybe it's just my dry ass skin. <laughs> um, but yeah, so far I like it. I think I could have gotten the neck size down, but that's about it. I have no complaints. Um... I do like this bronzer. It's nothing special, but I do like how it's matte. So if you are looking for a matte bronzer slash contour powder, the NYC uh, Smooth Skin Bronzer is good. It's hard to close. You have to like push really hard though. Like, that was hard. Um, so, so sorry about my shitty lighting. But yeah, so it doesn't close that well, that bronzer does, but you might want to just double check if you put it in your purse but that's about it it's like a good color it's just like my uh usual um bronzing color i don't have it right now but it's the maybelline 
uh, Master Studio bronzer. Um, but yeah. So that's, that's it. <laughs> Just gonna blend those lines out really quick. I'm gonna throw some blush on and I'll take some pictures for you. Alright you guys, have a good one.